Is AI, specifically Luminar AI, changing photography forever? Is it a bad thing? We're going to be exploring that in this video coming up. What's up? My name is David Johnson. On this channel, I help you improve your photography and talk photography. So if you're into that, go ahead and hit subscribe. Let's get into this. So if you've been living under a rock, AI stands for artificial intelligence. It's basically taking over. It's ruining the world. It's the best thing ever. Whatever side of the coin you're on, landscape photography is changing as well. And I want you to really think about this. Like, is Luminar AI changing photography forever? And is it actually a bad thing? When we look at what Luminar AI has done, introduced artificial intelligence software to photo editing, we've already seen stuff like that picked up secondary from Lightroom and Photoshop only to make their platforms better and the editing process smoother, faster, and more enjoyable. Look, less work for me and more time out in the field taking photos is a win-win. What's there to complain about? But there is a part of AI that does kind of feel disingenuine. And I don't know if that's just new technology or if it's even a bad thing with our photography. Our job is to really create photos that help us relay an expression or help us run a business. And maybe it's both for you or maybe it's one or the other, but photography has been able to do things like this for a long time. Anytime there's a new form of technology that comes out, there's people that saying that it's the worst, there's people saying it's the best. What I wanna do is really look at it firsthand and see what is this actually and how it can be used to improve our photos. So I just imported this photo into Luminar a second ago. This is a photo that I shot in Death Valley National Park, one of my favorite photos that I shot in 2022. I wanna see how Luminar AI can improve it. So the first thing we have are all of these presets. Now presets are in any software that you're gonna download. Lightroom has software and presets that you can download. People produce their own presets that you can buy and download. Presets aren't the best for me. I don't really like them a whole lot, but I have used some in Luminar before. So if I just click on like easy landscapes, I can go in here and click on different options like snowfall, Northscape, clean light. And if you hover over these, they're gonna give you an example of what that actually looks like. I personally don't like any of them on this photo. So I'm just gonna go straight into editing into some of their AI software that they use. So any of these little icons that have AI next to them are AI tools. So let's look at crop AI. And I'm just going to go to composition AI to let my computer and this software determine what the best crop would be. If I just look at apply this, it kind of does look better. Like it cropped out a lot of the bottom section that was overpowering, that was brighter than everything else. And really the attention needs to go to the colorful rocks in the background. So I'm not too upset by this AI selection of cropping. Next, I'm gonna to go to Enhance AI, and Accent AI, and Sky Enhancer is a moot point for this because there's no sky in this, but Accent AI is doing multiple things at once. It's using our exposure, our contrast, and our clarity, and brightening highlights and darkening shadows all in one slider. So is it technically an AI slider? Not really, but it does help me do a lot of things at once. So I just slide this up somewhere around right here, and that looks pretty good. Again, sky, moot point, I'm not really gonna use that. They do have extensions of AI tools that you can now buy. I only have one for super sharpening. I know they're coming out with a focus stacking one soon, so you can get that one too. And if I talk about any of this stuff, if you like Luminar, I do have a link to buy it for a special deal for you guys down below in the video description and in the comment section. No pressure, just something to check out. Next, I have Relight AI. Now, this is kind of a cool one. It basically creates um, brightness near and far and how I can add more depth to that. So if I increase the brightness near, what that looks like is just a brightening of the foreground. And I technically don't really like it for this one. I might actually darken that a little bit and then brighten up the rear just slightly as well, something like that atmosphere you can have fog and stuff like that let's just add this to see what it looks like and it's slight like you can't really see it a ton especially in those brighter rocks but right here around the, around this middle section you can see that it does brighten that up a little bit so i might 
nah, I'm going to reduce that down. I'm not a huge fan of how that looks. So there's a lot of different things, especially in the portrait section. Now, I'm a landscape photographer, so I don't really use portrait sessions. But let's just look at the before and after here to see what that looked like. If I click down here on actions and go to revert to original, we can see how that reverts back to its original form and removes all of these edits using AI that we made. So here we are back to the original photo shot. And honestly, I like the AI version better. I mean, is AI AI changing photography? Yes, but honestly, I think it's changing photography for the better because we have better tools to use at our fingertips to make our editing better and in result, our photos better. Think about it this way. If you lived back in the time, think about it this way. When masking or Photoshop came out, was that a big change to photography? Yes, but now we use masking all the time and it helps us make beautiful photos. So don't knock new technology. So don't knock new technology or anything like that. Just kind of embrace it, use it, see if it works for you. If it doesn't, great. But if it does, I would highly encourage you to adopt it into your workflow. If you want more Luminar videos, hit this playlist right here that's going to help you improve your photos too.